here we go. No. Thought that was gonna be it. Shum of a. Uh, let me stop it. Because I'm trying to get it to explode again. Turn it back on. Zone valve is moving. We're on. Close, but it's having problems. I'm hearing definite problems with that ignition module. It's either that or dirty flame sense. But you hear it sparking and sparking, so. Oh, there you go. I got it. Got it on film. Now it's lit. Okay, I jumped, I admit it. But that's why I'm doing the service right now. I'm taking a break from painting. As you can see, I got paint all over my clothes, but sorry. Uh, I gotta see an Eddie. I don't know why Eddie's HVAC is on my friggin' boiler, but he's not doing a good job. Okay, so let's kill. The ignition, cool down my boiler. All right, so now I got to find out why I got the exploding boiler. So I want to check gas pressure. While I'm doing that, I'm going to compare the reactions on my wire. And my magnet healer, but I'm gonna let this cool off for a few. So I cooled the boiler down. Now let's test the gas and see what's going on with the gas. Make sure the gas is all right. I want to cover everything because I'm trying to figure out why the gas valve's here. This is incoming. And I like to see the incoming and to see if I have a pressure drop. Because it is a new gas valve. I'm wondering if this was just recently done. Because the dope is still fresh. So. Is off. So I'm gonna hook up both of my test tools to a T fitting. I want to see which one responds first, faster, which is better. Other teeth. Okay. This one's too short. Where is it? These connect to this better. I could always put a longer hose on this thing. So there's one. Here's the other. I'm gonna go get a little longer of a piece of hose. Could just connect it right on. So let's just see with this before I get anything. Like a test incoming. But on most tries, it fired up. Every once in 
once in a while I hear a boom or a bang from down here. And that's got to be that time it decides to explode. It's too loose, so I want to get a different one. So I just realized that this is too small. This little fitting, this is probably for this clear hose. See there's different size barbs. So Too bad there's no actual stand on it. That'd be nice if it opened up with a stand, but I guess we could put them like this. Um, well that's on. Let's plug this in. Gas on. They're both about the same. This gives you an exact reading. This is showing it's just under six. So if I put it like that, it goes closer to the five and a half. But it's fine. So let's see what happens on start. See if I get a drop. Gas pressure goes a little low. I would like five inches of water column when it's running. I'm a little under it. I might have to go to my regulator outside and crank it in a little bit. So I do have a regulator outside which means I have a high pressure line coming into my house. Let's kill it. Turn the boiler off. So I'm back on. Now what I'm wondering is what about when the water heater is running? That four and a half is gonna go even lower. Not even gonna stay at four and a half, it's gonna drop once that starts. to move it first. Hopefully I didn't strip it out. And it actually moved.
I haven't even looked to see what the pilot looks like to see if it's sitting in good or not. Mirror locked on there a little. I might go get a spare because this doesn't look the best, but whatever. For now, it doesn't matter. I won't make the rotation with this on. I hear my reverse osmosis clicking again. I gotta play around with that thing, find out why it clicks. It did it for a little while, I shut it off, I opened it back up and it was gone. Now it sounds like it's doing it again. The expansion tank seems like it's got air and water mixed. I want to figure it out. I'll play with it when I have time. I've been putting this off for friggin' a while right now just because time. I don't have it. Love to have more of it. Um, everything's on. Almost four. So it's over firing a little bit. No reason for it to be this high on the out. I'm curious where it goes when the water heater's on. So let's turn this thing on. for now. I don't want to fire. I mean, it's almost four, three, eight. So this has to get cut back. But none of this states why. We have those slight explosions. Right about there. Let's see where this one. Seems to be pretty good. Three and a half. So the gas pressure is pretty good still. Well, I verified the gas pressure on my boiler. Now I gotta just do some maintenance to be continued.